Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I plant the Moringa oleifera. And um, I'm not going to go into a lot of descriptions about you know, how good this thing is. They call it the miracle tree. But if you just Google the Moringa tree, um, there'll be all kinds of websites about how good this is for you. I mean, it's, uh, it's incredible the amount of uh, you know, nutrients and vitamins and whatnot that it has in this. Um, now, you, you can go out and buy the powder, but I would rather make my own. And so, I, 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 I mean, I've eaten it before and I like the powder, but I wanted to just save money because it's really expensive. So, uh, now, in, I'm in Zone 7B in Southern Oregon, and so I'm going to have to keep it in the greenhouse, bring it in the greenhouse. I'm going to put it in a nice big pot when it gets large, and then take it outside and then bring it back in in the, in the winter time to overwinter it because um, this doesn't like uh, cold, lots of cold temperatures. But anyway, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go ahead and plant these, and then um, I'm going to show you at least how I did it and what kind of success I've had. I'm going to have to keep these indoors um, until it gets nice and warm outside to be able to bring them out and then acclimate them to the hot weather. So I'm going to bring you in and I'm going to show you how I planted these, okay? Now I'll put a link below to where you can go out and get some of these seeds, all right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three of them in here. Now these have like a husk or a shell, and so let me show you. Um, now, some people will say take and soak these in water, and I suppose if you do soak them, they may come apart from the shell a lot easier. But what I do is I just break them apart, kind of like a like a nut, like that. And if you break it apart, you end up with this little white seed inside. Let me show you what this looks like. I don't know if you can see that very well if it's focusing or not, but it's just a little looks like a pea or white pea. And um, so I'm gonna plant these about an inch deep, pop these open. And I just crack them with my fingernail. Let me show you what one looks like that's not out of the shell, that's still in the shell. This is what it looks like in the shell. Like that. And so here's one. Here's one in the shell, and here's out of the shell. So, so I'm gonna plant three in here because I'm just gonna I'm gonna transplant them after they get a fairly good size. And so this, yeah, this is the mix that I used in my previous video for my indoor growing mix. So I'm going to plant them about an inch deep, just like that. Kind of just space them around the pot. And then cover them over. And I don't do anything special. You don't have to stratify. You don't have to soak. At least that's, um, that's what I've done. And, and um, I just take them right out of the bag, pop them out of their shell. Some people say you don't even have to take them out of the shell. You can just plant them. I suppose if you're if you're gonna just if you're gonna pop them out of the shell, the, I mean if you're gonna leave them in the shell, then you might want to soak them, maybe to soften that shell up. But anyway, that's all I do, and then I'm gonna water this really good, and um, that's that's all I've done. Now let me show you three that I planted about two weeks ago, and there we go. That's the, this is after two weeks, just about two weeks. Then you know there's something really strange though, because these two look exactly alike. And look at this one here. It looks like a different plant. Uh, and I know that it came out of this package, and <laughs> I don't know. If anybody has grown moringa before, maybe they can tell me what's happening. But these two look just like you know I mean, what I would suspect. And then this little one here, which the leaves, the leaves don't even look the same. I mean, at least. No, they don't look the same. So I don't know what's going on here with this one, but um, it's definitely the Moringa seed. So this is after two weeks, just about. It's two weeks and a couple days. So there we go. I did nothing special. So I'm going to go ahead and grow more here. And uh, I'm actually going to plant quite a few of them. And I'm going to give some of these plants away to some people that I think would really like these. So that's how I planted the uh, Moringa oleifera. And I'll keep you updated as these grow. Okay, so there is the Moringa oleifera. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, what happened to my... What the heck? I'm, I lost a button. Um, <laughs> stupid little distractions. Anyways, yeah, if anybody knows why this one here is so completely different from these two, um, this one has kind of a reddish... Let me, let me get you in closer a little bit more. This has got kind of a reddish stalk to it, and these are just bright green. And so, anyways, uh, I'll let you guys know how this progresses, and, uh, and if somebody does 
let me know what's happened. I'll, I'll make sure that I put that in the next Q&A. And uh, it'll be my own q and I ask myself a question, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's my Moringa Oleofera, and I'll keep you guys updated on that and kind of let you know how it's going and how well it's going to do in here, especially when it comes next winter. We'll see how they do, but uh, I'm kind of jazzed, kind of excited to grow my own so I don't have to buy the powder anymore. So, All right, so there it is. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you all later.